Hey everybody, uh, up next is going to be Battle Chess. Here we go. And uh, yeah, this came out uh, in uh, 1988 by Interplayer Productions. It came out on the NES in uh, 1990. Um, I don't know much about it. I know Brian Fargo, he had a hand in this and uh, his team, or um, they, uh, I remember one of the, my favorite games that they made was uh, Bard's Tale 3. Well, actual Bard's Tale series, but I remember uh, uh, Fargo had a hand in, uh, uh, had a hand in these. Um, I started off with some okay music and stuff like this. I mean, it's chess, so I'm happy with it. Um, I guess there's supposed to be some animations in here that are supposed to be uh, quite hilarious. They took some things from uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail in here with a fight. And uh, an Indiana Jones clip or something like this, which they were known to do at the time. They always had these kind of, a lot of just inside jokes in all other games. So uh, it doesn't look like this is gonna have uh, an introduction either. It looks like it's just gonna do the uh, just the little song thing. So we'll jump into it here. Literally jump right into it. Um, Let's hear settings. 3D pieces, human, red, <laughs> Nintendo, <laughs> blue. Okay. Sure. Um, select. Okay. Uh, level. Novice. Okay. Because we're just going to get through this thing. And then what do, what do we have for move? Set up board, take back, replay, suggest move. Oh, you can cheat on the game. Cool. Um, all right, so. This may make for a long chess game. The pawn gets out of here for the night. Awesome. So I may lose a bishop like. bring up that big of a threat this early in the game. Even if, I'm trying to decide whether I should take my bishop and go for that knight. Because if he moves the knight, I take the queen. Yeah, I don't care. I think that's a good sacrifice. Either way, I get the knight unless he takes his pawn if I bring my pawn up on the next, I can take it, but then I, let's see here, I take that, this may become a mess. Oh, he's gonna check me. No, he isn't. Okay, I'm bringing my knight out. I want double protection.
Oh, he's protecting that pawn again. That's what's going on there. Um... I really don't want to do that. Do I take my bishop out? Oh, there. Okay. Ooh, that blocked my queen, though. That's fine, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I wonder if I, how I do that. Do I just do... Okay. Fair enough. thinking long enough. Um, Navas. Oh, if I do that, that I don't want to take my queen like that. All right, um, don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. my night out I don't have the protection there that I want okay, I don't get it there I don't get it there I don't get it there definitely don't get it there I don't get it
Can I take the pawn of my knight? He uses his knight to take my knight. And I'm just down. And I take his bishop, and then his knight takes my bishop. And we're back in the same spot where we are. But now we got a vulnerable, or we got a queen flying around. I can't move this guy anywhere because there's nothing to defend him with. Move him above my queen. There, he's technically guarding my pawn then, at least. I have no idea if that's the right call or not. He's just going to force us down my throat. So I use my knight to take his pawn. This pawn. Right, okay, hang on. Okay, I use my knight to take his pawn. His pawn comes down, takes. My knight, my bishop moves up. Takes that spot. And we've opened up an area for the queen, but now we got a rook that we still have to deal with. If I take my bishop and take the pawn, pawn takes my bishop, I move my knight up there. I've got some threatening, but I still don't have a decent threat. Um, if I move that pawn straight up, if I move this pawn straight, God, I can't see these moves that far ahead. I don't know what he's all going to do because there can be a dozen different things. His pawn goes after my bishop, takes that up. That leaves that thread open for the queen. Queen's going to be a threat either way. People howling across the internet on this move. Am I, am I doing the fighting? Cool. OK, 
Yeah, that's what we saw there. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now I don't know what he's going to do. God, I gotta get my queen out there. But how? opens that up. I don't want to do that either. Bishop comes here. So the bishop can't come here, others I'll take him. Comes here, I take him. Forgot about the pawn. Shoot. <sighs> and now he's got double threats on all these guys. Damn it. Oh, thanks. The uh, weekend's been going uh, pretty good uh, so far. We just we just did a lot of shopping today. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to figure this out. I am not uh, I am not good at chess. I'll tell you that right now. Um, but yeah, it's been uh, fairly good. I had the daughter out to the mall for a while. She had some fun there. Um, I'm trying to figure out a strategy to get this king and well, obviously get the king in check yeah um but i just don't play chess enough i've always i've wanted to but uh I'm not good at it <laughs> um if i take this of this here Oh, then I bring my, oh, if I bring my rook up to take that guy out, shoot. That does absolutely nothing. I don't want to move my knight anywhere. I'm not big on moving my pawns. I don't want to move my pawn in front of my rook. I don't want to move my bishop at all. But I need to get my rooks and my queen out to start launching attacks. It's just too darn dangerous yet. Hmm. Do I for 
if I move this bishop, this guy is toast. If I move him up, he's toast. I'm also trying to figure out a way to ambush his queen, too. But the queen can stay there. Um... He still has a bishop. What if I move my rook to right here? Means I lose my pawn is what happens. Strategic advantage, probably, with his knight over here. What if I bring my queen? Many cat's got a ball. Where's he going? So he's taking out. I got my rook out like I wanted to. Damn, he's moving that bishop. I didn't want him to do that. up there I'm concerned about. So now I take out like this. Oh, that queen is going to be coming out in a second. I'm going to take out this. I am worried about this guy. <laughs> uh, 
nice. All right. Wait, I do have protection there. That moves that queen no matter what. Hang on, this is gonna get... Okay, so, I move my bishop here. That queen is gonna be forced to move at this point. She can go straight down, attack there. She could move over that way. To retreat a bit. I think that might be the smartest move at this point. Oh, I could have... Yeah, I don't want to do that with my knight yet. That's my bishop there. My king is down here. I take my knight, take out this pawn. Queen will either go this way to take him out, and I can use eat the queen. Queen can go the other way. And I've literally got no offense to that, nothing there. What kind of damage can she do though by eating that pawn? Take my rook and take a pawn up there, but then I'm not covering my king anymore. God, I want that queen off the field. 
my bishop is still covering what if I take my knight and move him right here that threatens the queen What does the queen do? She can retreat. I can take something. What if she if she backs up one, if she moves forward. I think this will be the best bet. What am I missing though? What if she goes diagonal one? I have nothing there. Oh crap, I don't have, oh sh shoot. Okay, now I see why not do that. I don't have anything covering him anymore. Damn it. She can go after my rook. I feel like I'm just making some bad choices here, but it's the only thing I can think of. Maybe a rook will go into play up there or something like that. I don't know. Probably should have moved my rook over one instead of having to deal with that crap right there. I bet the queen's gonna go forward. Put my king in check. Oh, that's one possibility. Where's she going? Okay.
Well, it's not going to go far doing that. Okay. Oh, the queen will just eat that guy then. Shoot. Okay. So, let's go here, I guess. Bring my knight here. I think he's gonna be forced to. Yeah, that's what I want him to do is move his friggin' rook. Yeah, great. I still don't have any coverage on that queen. Um, what if I move my queen? Here. Wow, that would be really stupid. If I move my queen up one roll, I think that's the best I can do. Let's see here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm seeing strategies. There's stuff I'm just not doing well here. I know I'm not. I just, I, I just don't know. <laughs> um, so if I take my rook now and attack the pawn, queen's gonna be forced to move, but she can move in a dozen different goddamn places. I don't. I can protect, wait. Rook is going to come down and take this, and I've got no protection on him anymore. What I need to do is be able to get this pawn out of my way so I can attack the king. Take my rook out to here. 
The queen can do a handful of things which just aren't going to sit well for me. If I take my rook to here... Take my bishop, and then all hell breaks loose. I have protection there. Um, What happens if I take my bishop from right here and put him right here? is I cannot move this bishop at all because then this knight becomes vulnerable. Take that knight to take him. see what's going on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a dirty rook in the field. Shoot. I just gotta get rid of these pieces. It's all it's just boiling down to. <clears throat> oh, I wonder, maybe if I would have moved a pawn up? I don't know. Yeah, there goes that guy. That's expected. Okay, but now, if I get rid of this pawn, the queen may come at me. But then I'll have rooks to fire back at her with. And that queen is off the goddamn map. Which is what's busting my butt. Or do I take it with a rook? I better take it. Sacrifice... Sacrifice the rough. That this is protecting my king now. If I move up here and the queen moves right here, I'm screwed. If I go like this though, the queen's gotta do something. Then I'm starting to get that uh, knight boxed in. Oh, wait a minute. 
This might be it. Hang on. Unless the rook does something crazy that I'm just not seeing. God knows. expected. Now I take my rook here, get rid of this damn queen. Then he's probably going to do something funky with his rook. Here comes the rook that I expected. Now, what can I do with that stupid pawn that's driving me bonkers? Okay. Should have seen that coming. <laughs> um, I don't. Do I want to move these guys? Oh, how am I going to do this? Here. No, that's a quick way to lose the game. All right, wait. Am I over? I might be overthinking this. Hang on. Move my rook to here. Doesn't matter what he does at that point. No, because he doesn't have anything that can move diagonally far. Okay, move this rook to right here. So I keep the vertical threat. Then I move my rook across. doesn't matter anymore. Now I move him here to put him in check. He's got two options. Now I move my other rook over. this game <laughs> okay was he good oh whoa he's going for it he's gonna kill the king this is so cool <laughs> what's he gonna do to him oh just bop him on the head wait what he flattened him 
I love you, Interplay. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so in general, let me rephrase this. For a chess game, this is absolutely great fun. I'm not a big chess fan in general. <laughs> this is hilarious, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh yeah that's uh that's battle jazz <laughs>